simply cook it with sandy. Today's dish is going to be spaghetti. For the spaghetti, you're going to need two pounds of ground beef, a box of spaghetti. This is a 16 ounce box. Uh, two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. This is a 14.5 ounce can. Two jars of pasta sauce. These are 24 ounce jars. I have tomato, garlic, and onion and meat flavor. Gonna need some uh, olive oil, some Italian seasoning, some black pepper, some salt, some minced onions, and some garlic powder. First thing you want to do is get your water to boiling for the spaghetti. You want to cook the spaghetti first so that when you add it to the meat, it's cooled off. Because cool pasta grabs the sauce better. So you want to put the olive oil in there and you want to put some salt. Once the water starts boiling, you break the spaghetti in half and you place it in the pot. And then you stir it with a fork to break it up so it won't be all sticking together. Once the spaghetti is boiling, then you want to start on the meat. You're going to break up. I already put some olive oil in the pan. Now I'm just breaking up the hamburger before I add the seasoning. You're going to add the pepper. See that the stove is not on yet. I like to season my meat before I cut the stove on. We're going to add the Italian seasoning. the minced onions and the garlic powder okay now you want to cut the stove on to maybe six. You want to stir it all in. Make sure periodically you stir the spaghetti so it doesn't stick. Stir the hamburger. Make sure you get all the seasonings all incorporated into the meat. You should smell it. The garlic powder and the Italian seasoning it smells wonderful. Now once the hamburger is done and you have drained the pasta and let the pasta cool, you gotta add in the pasta sauce. To check to check and make sure that the spaghetti is ready, you take a piece and then you eat it. Okay, you want to drain the spaghetti. You want to sit in here and let it cool for a few minutes. And while it's cooling, you want to go ahead and add the pasta sauce to the hamburger. Now, if you want, you can drain the grease out of the hamburger, but I don't. I like to add that into my hamburger, I mean to the spaghetti. So you're going to cut it down low because you don't want the spaghetti sauce popping all over the place. So I'm cutting it to three. I'm going to add a jar of spaghetti sauce. I'm also going to add the tomatoes. 
You want to add both cans. You don't want to drain the tomato sauce. So you just pour it in that, all of them in the can. Make sure you get out, empty the can out. And stir it in. Then you add one jar of the pasta sauce. You want to save the other jar of pasta sauce to add after you add in the spaghetti. So you add in the sauce, stir it in. You're going to let it simmer for a few minutes. I'm just gonna put the top on, let it simmer while you're waiting for the spaghetti to cool. After the pasta has cooled slightly, it's not gonna be cold cold, you don't got that much time. You're gonna add it to this uh, sauce, the meat sauce, carefully so it don't splatter all over the place. You're gonna stir or we'll squish it in. You can also add cheese at this point if you like. Stir it up and then you're going to add the second jar of pasta. Now if you want, you don't have to. It's optional. We just like a lot of sauce on our spaghetti. You can leave it like this. I mean, we know once you stir it in. If you don't like that much sauce, but if you do, we're going to add the second jar. And the reason I like using two different flavors is it gives the spaghetti, you know, a better taste than just using the same one. You know, different herbs and spices. Okay, you continue to stir until it's all mixed in. Then you're going to cut it on low. You're going to let it sit for like maybe 10 minutes so that all the juices can get on, stick on to the spaghetti like I said you can add cheese if you want you can add um, hot sauce we're gonna come back when it's done and show you how it looks okay the spaghetti has been simmering for about 10 minutes and it is all done everything is all mixed in together so thanks for watching this is my version of spaghetti Thank you.